Hi Virgo, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do a bi-weekly for you guys. It's going to go from June 18th until July 1st, 2018. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so very much for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Virgo, please do subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. For your reading, I'm using Legacy of the Divine. Beautiful deck. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. As a reminder, Virgo, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, please watch your other signs. All my Virgo subscriber spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Virgo, June 18th, July 1st, 2018 for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know for the next two weeks? Feels good, guys. Beautiful. So, because I'm doing a bi weekly for you guys, I am going to do um, the Celtic Cross spread for you guys. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. The links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Okay, nice. At the bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. So the Hierophant represents marriages, you know, more traditional relationships, keeping the faith. They do call it faith in this card, in this deck. Um, you could be getting married. Maybe you're taking your relationship to the next level. Commitment could be important. Right at the start of the first week. Let me see here. It could also represent, you know, company that you work for, the government, documents, sometimes even something legal for some of you. I definitely see something legal going on. If you've been waiting on legal documents, you definitely could be receiving that the first week. You really do have a beautiful spread here, Virgo. You have six major arcana cards here. Powerful month for you, or powerful two weeks for you guys. So you're starting out with the Four of Wands. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. You have the King of Wands crossing the Four of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign with the four of wands. This is either your spouse or someone that you are in a relationship with. This could also be a family member. You know, the four of wands does talk about stability, security. With the hierophant, some of you could have definitely have gotten a new job. And it's bringing in a lot of stability and security into your life. A lot of happiness. You know, it is a card of celebrations. Right at the start of the first week. Just really feeling happy in a good place. You know, the King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. You know, when this person wants something, he goes after it. He's a go-getter. This person takes action. Very ambitious, fiery, creative, determined. Very ambitious. Lots of energy for many of you. Um, just feeling, you know, very excited. You know, the emperor in your foundation. If you just got a new job, this could be your boss. That Your boss could have presented you with an offer. And that's, you know, and that, you know, brought you your stability, your security. For others, this was your energy, taking matters into your own hands. You know, because the emperor, you know, is all about taking control. Taking control of a situation, even taking back your own power in some way. 
For some of you, that's why we have this energy here with the Four of Wands, success here. And that could be because you took back your power. Maybe you took matters into your own hands. This could have been someone that you were dealing with previously, an Aries. This person could still be in your life. Some of you could be in a relationship with an older person. The emperor is usually a business owner, someone who is very established, older, but very, very successful and established. You know, for some of you, this could be your your spouse. You know, this could be your father, your boss, someone that has authority over you and is significant in the past and could still be important now in the recent past you have the knight of cups so this could have been an offer it could have been that offer for a new job with the four of wands even a new home for those of you that this isn't a new job this could be a new home with the hierophant here maybe you just purchased a new home maybe you're trying to sell your home move to a new home this could have been an offer that came through previously with the Knight of Cups. You know, the Knight of Cups doesn't always have to be, you know, a love offer. You know, it's an offer that makes you very happy. You know, it's very exciting. But for some of you, definitely, it could absolutely be an offer of love. But it's definitely an offer that, that's makes you very happy. It, it excites you. And for some of you, this could be a water sign person that was very important in the recent past. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. That was important in the past, definitely. Crowning you, you have justice. For some of you, there could be a Libra that's important. You know, maybe this, you know, this could be your spouse. For others of you, because, you know, you have the Hierophant here. You have the Four of Wands. I feel there are definitely some of you that are getting married or thinking about it. With Justice crowning you, if you're not getting married just yet, you could absolutely be thinking about it. With the Knight of Cups... You definitely, um, this could have been a proposal that came to you. You could be planning your wedding, signing that contract, making it legal. Some of you definitely are on your way to getting married. You know, to be honest, this could, this could be happening like right now. Because, you know, you guys are getting this reading on on um, June 14th. So you could be planning this, maybe getting married this weekend. I definitely feel that for some of you. you know, justice also represents a decision. It could be a legal decision. It could be a contract. So for those of you that are purchasing a home, this definitely could be that contract. It could be a decision. For those of you that have been dealing with maybe some unfairness, this could absolutely be things balancing out for you. This could be some sort of karmic justice. This could be that fairness that's coming in that you're thinking about here. The second week, you have victory, success. When it comes to something in your life, this is feeling, you know, very accomplished proud of yourself, just feeling very, very successful. I love this card in this deck. And really, you know, really moving forward confidently too. It just, just feeling very, very successful. Some of you could be receiving some sort of recognition or praise in the workplace. If you were trying to sell your house, this could be you coming through very successful with that. Or if you were even trying to purchase a new home, 
You could have put an offer down. You could have put an offer down on this. And this could be that offer being accepted. Some of you got a new job. You could be moving up within the company that you work for, but definitely feeling very confident, successful, very nice. And you see yourself as the star. And this goes perfect with the Hierophant because you have all this amazing energy around you. And I, really, I see you very optimistic, hopeful, literally keeping the faith. Literally. I mean, it's just so beautiful together. Wish fulfillment. This is for some of you really receiving a wish come true, Virgo. This could be on the financial front for others. This could be in your personal life. And you know, look at this. The Seven of Cups is under here, so definitely offers. Would you believe the Nine of Cups is under that too? sorry really some of you and I honestly I really feel that for a, a lot of you a bit some sort of big wish come true and that proves it big time you can't make this shit up this could also be on the on the romantic front absolutely you know we have this wish that's coming through you know and it's also you know that divine energy too very much being divinely guided here towards your wishes, dreams, hopes. It's a healing energy. For some of you, absolutely healing a relationship. In your environment and how other people around you are viewing you. The Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is someone... Virgo Taurus Capricorn, but this is definitely, I feel like your, your energy. This is, you know, you guys being very cautious, moving very, very slowly. You know, it's still forward movement, but you know, I feel like in this deck, definitely with this card, you know, these are, there's horses in this, in this deck, in this card, and that's all about, you know, movement speed so things moving pretty quickly for you guys but practical cautious or this could be you know for others of you some sort of financial offer or opportunity that's coming in we already know in the recent past with the knight of cups you know that this could have been a job offer that came through and, and now people are, could really be viewing you as receiving this offer or opportunity. Receiving, literally, this wish come true. Definitely. You know, for some of you, you could, you could be involved with, the, with another earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But, um... You know, this this definitely could be your spouse or someone you're spending time with. This, the star also represents the sign of Aquarius or a Libra with justice. And in your hopes and fears, you have the world. Hoping for completion with something. You know, definitely coming full circle with the world here. For some of you, definitely. Literally coming full circle. Some of you definitely could be traveling. And I do feel for many of you, you're, you're ready to move on. Start the next chapter in your life. You know, that's what you're hoping for. Especially those of you that have just gotten into a relationship or maybe you're thinking about getting married this is you really ready ready to start the next chapter of your life on the business front as well if this is a new job or getting a promotion 
with the company that you work for. You are absolutely ready for that. There is a lot of beautiful energy in this reading. And your outcome card is the Six of Swords. So definitely, you know, a lot of you definitely could be traveling. Physically traveling, moving, but literally this is, you know, moving forward, moving on, moving toward your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. Just beautiful. Move Absolutely moving toward this new beginning. Definitely coming full circle and moving forward. Very beautiful reading, Virgo. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to get you guys a Romance Angels card. I love it. Moving toward peace, peace of mind, harmony. Virgo. Okay, that one. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This could have already happened for some of you. The Knight of Cups, 99.999% of the time, is somebody that you already know. Somebody from the past coming back into your life. That's going to make you very, very happy. Could be traveling with this person. Definitely a wish come true. Beautiful, Virgo. Very, very nice. Guys, if it didn't resonate, please watch your other signs. But it really looks to be like a beautiful two weeks for you guys. Very, very, very beautiful. Love it. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to view the video. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed two weeks. I will see you guys back here soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.